five class. Scott Schrader got the whole shot. Lindenmeyer grabs the whole shot, goes way to the outside in the second turn, almost lost it right there to Stallings. Stallings was the runner-up for the first turn. He hugged the inside line, almost absconded with the lead. But those two guys are going to do a battle. Remember, the older guys are in the second wave. Those are the plus 45 riders. The 450 novices are that big tangle up on top. Halfway through their first lap. Josh Rader, 623, missed the opening round. He got a fifth, and then went to second, and then he won last weekend at Paris. He's in third place for the series. The guy to keep your eye on, here for the 450 novice class, is going to be Matt Pop. Matt, number 142, has had a great series going. He was the runner-up the first week, then he won rounds two and three. He kind of, I think I jinxed him at Paris Tour. I chatted with him a bit before the race. And congratulated him on representing the, the high desert out here for the Gold Cup. And then what happened? He dropped down to a fifth overall last weekend at Paris Tour. He still got the points lead though, with a 23 point lead coming in here to the final round. So Matt Pop here in the 450 novice class. Keep your eye out for number 142. Right now he's in third place trying to break around number 285. 285 is Tyler Duff. Coming in. Tyler over the finish line. He's feeling much better now. He's in second place, and that's, that's about where he needs to be. As I said, Pop's got a 23-point lead coming into this race. So as long as Pop keeps his
Mark is the man, I should say the young man, behind Motocross Refuge, the Motocross Ministry that we've had out here every Saturday night during the California Gold Cup. Back in the plus 45 class, Lindenmeyer still the top banana, Stallings in second, Ramirez in third, and Jim Set from Rancho Santa Margarita in the fourth spot. There's the battle for the overall. Scott Schrader, 623, and Pop is right alongside him as they came up and over the finish line to grab the two-lap warning. Now Scott Schrader on the Suzuki, remember he's third in the series coming into today's race. Matt Pop, 142, is the leader in the series coming into today's race. So Schrader badly needs to win. And there goes Pop with a sweet move on the inside. Our leaders over on the north end of the track right now, getting ready to go behind that Moto TF billboard down by the starting line here in the northwest corner. But as they get over here to the finish line, the white flag is going to be out. Pop attacking the outside line, 623, Schrader on the inside. Pop's got the lead. Schrader tried to get underneath, but there wasn't any room. Number 306, Jeff Lindenmeyer, behind them both. And so that was a tough call for those two there. As a matter of fact, Jeff Lindenmeyer is the dad on the track. Cody Lindenmeyer, his son, is out on the track right now, number 43. So when Lindenmeyer is leading the plus 45 class, there's his son getting the white flag right now, number 43, Cody Lindenmeyer from El Cajon. He's 20 years young, getting the white flag in the 450 novice class. Checkered flag got 142. Pop is on his way to winning the championship. He's got the points lead by winning the first moto. He's going to be looking solid. Scott Schrader. Scott, remember, is battling for a championship. He still has a chance, but Schrader's going to have to win the second moto and hope that something happens to Pop. Meanwhile, in the plus 45 class, Jeff Lindenmeyer unofficially looks like he's going to grab our first moto win as race number three comes to a close and we get ready to look at the pros for the first time today. Race number four on the starting line now, 450 pro class. Number 110, 